The nasal cavity is up here. See where the nose sticks out? The nasal cavity. Separating the nasal cavity from the oral cavity is the palate. And in the front, you have a hard palate. See where they split the bone? Mm -hmm. And then in the back, you have a soft palate. And then you all know you have a little hangy down in the back of your throat. That is called the uvula. That's what that thing's called. That's called. what that Number thing's eight. called, I'm the uvula. What number is that? 22? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. What, what do you say the soft palate is, Mr. Owen? The soft palate's right no, there, at the very that. back of the hard palate. And then hanging down I'm is the eight. uvula. I'm just going to put hanging down. Number two is the hard palate. All right. The next thing is the tongue and the oral cavity. The tongue is the organ, the oral cavity is the space that it occupies a good deal of. The next thing on there is a tube that goes from the back of the nasal cavity, behind the oral cavity, and then ends up right down in here where it splits, or looks like it splits. This tube is your pharynx. That's your throat. All right. Do y'all see how there's a little white thing here that sticks up, and that little white thing would close off that opening right there? Mm -hmm. That little white thing is the epiglottis. I think that's a little like D. I don't know what it is. <laughs> don't know numbers, okay. but the little white thing there is the epiglottis. And then on the front side here, you have the glottis, which is the opening through this little thing here called the larynx. Mm -hmm. And notice how there's a little protrusion right there, your little Adam's apple. All right? But there is the larynx, and the opening through it is the glottis. The epiglottis sits down on top of that opening, and it will shunt food and water into the tube in the back. What's that tube that continues from the larynx in the front? The trachea. All right. I don't, it's not on there, but that's the trachea. On the back side, though, this tube right here, which has got muscles around it, is your esophagus. It comes down here. This large organ right here that's kind of J-shaped mm -hmm. is your stomach. And I don't have the parts of the stomach on there, so you don't have to know them. But you do have to know the two sphincters, one at either end. The one between the esophagus and the stomach up here would be the cardiac sphincter. The one at the other end is the pyloric sphincter, right about there. You see where it's kind of constricted there? What's that between? That's between the stomach and the first part of the small intestine. Now, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you all something I forgot to tell you a while ago. These numbers on here refer to an old model. I haven't changed the numbers yet. So all those numbers have nothing to do with any of the stuff that I'm showing you. All right? So you can forget about the numbers. There might be one or two of them that correspond, but most of them are wrong. Now, the next part of the digestive tract is the small intestine. It consists, first of all, of the duodenum, this little portion right here. And it goes over here and kind of kinks up right in there. That's the duodenum, little short guy. And then you have two parts over here. You have the jejunum up top and the ileum down below. All three of those, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum, all three make up the small intestine. That's A, is the jejunum up in here, and then the ileum down here is the B part. You said that was that D word? And this is the duodenum up here. Now, before I get into the large intestine, let me run past a couple of things up here. The spleen, I don't know if that's on there or not. There's the spleen over there. 
the liver is here, the gallbladder is the little green thing on the undersurface of the liver, and then there's the pancreas, that thing that's partially dissected right there, right below the stomach and along the side of the duodenum. Then we go into the large intestine, and basically everything else is going to be large intestine. Right here at the end of the ileum, do you see where it empties into the large intestine? A little bit above the bottom, this emptying right here, there is a valve there called the ileocecal valve. There's the position of the ileocecal valve. Below the ileocecal valve is the cecum, and below the cecum is the appendix. All right, there's the cecum, there's the appendix sticking off, and then above the ileocecal valve, going up, across, down, and then it'll make a little loop, which you can't really tell on here, is your colon. You have the ascending, transverse, descending, and then down in here is the sigmoid. Do that one more time. From here up is ascending, then I go across, and I'm in the transverse, then I go down, I'm in the descending, and then I'll go through a little S-shaped guy right down in here, which is the sigmoid colon. And I end up in this little part right here, which is the rectum. And that should be all of it. What was that? Where's the colon? The colon is from here, okay. up, across, I mean, down, and right there. And it ends right about there. That part right there is the rectum. Yeah, that's what I meant to. The rectum. And by the way, rectum all the way back up including the cecum and the appendix, all of that you can consider part of the large intestine. All right?